Welcome to another episode of Wine with Red Wizard. This is a show where I find a bottle of wine with a cool label on it. I talk about the artwork on that label. Then I drink the wine and I talk about the wine, but you're probably gonna laugh at me because I really don't know anything about wine. Uh, why am I doing this? Because I'm a wine label artist myself and I like the attention. The wine we have today is by Juggernaut. It is a Russian River Pinot Noir. Now you can see the reason why I picked this was this sick label. It looks like a grizzly bear getting all angry on top of some uh, red bloodstained land. Okay, uh, if you were a magic card player, this would definitely be a green card, but I'm not gonna nerd out right now. So. Taking a closer look, I looked up, I couldn't exactly find the name of the artist, but this wine label and like even the cork is branded, the top of the cork, everything has got a really cool brand and style to it. I looked it up online, it was done by Austin Design Group. Uh, they did an excellent job, beastly, beastly. And so, yeah, if you like this, if you're into this label, you know, you probably had an Affliction t-shirt and you were like really into MMA during the whole like GSP era. And now you probably just wear like a baby blue polo shirt. You're balding, you probably got like a bald head and you wear Oakleys to your friend's wedding. But you got a big truck and that's fine. I'm just messing around guys, this is a cool label. Uh, let's have a pour. Sorry, my glass is like a bazillion fingerprints on it. It's pretty gnarly. Okay, give it a swirl. I keep putting too much in here. All right, so the one thing I do know about Pinot Noir is it usually has a pretty good nose. It usually you can kind of smell a bunch of different things, right? So with this one, I smell vanilla. The website said I should smell like waffle cones. I don't know if I, I don't even know what a waffle cone smells like, but it definitely has like a, definitely has a hint of vanilla to it. And all right, let's give it a taste. This is good. Now, the few Pinot Noirs I have from what I understand, Pinot Noir, it's a red grape, but it likes cooler climates, right? Like I'm from New York, we grow Pinot Noir up here. It's not big and bold like some of those like warmer climate red grapes. But I think cause of that, sometimes when you taste Pinot Noir, it falls a little flat. Or the opposite, sometimes I feel like it kind of tastes like perfumey and flowery, which I don't like. This one definitely hits you with like some tart cherry. It's just, it's nice and fruity. I definitely feel a little bit of like summer dark cherry to it, which is awesome. And since it's not super heavy, it's kind of more acidic. It's supposed to go with lots of different kinds of food. So if you're gonna eat and need some wine, this is pretty good. All right. And it also says that it's certified green, sustainable wine growing practices in California. Since it's, you know, California, uh, my grandfather used to call California the land of fruits and nuts, but you know, he grew up in the World War II era. So uh, I think he had a chip on his shoulder there. And we both, so we know that California is extra green, right? So it's gotta be a pretty good seal of approval. I don't know what that means. So anyway, that is the Juggernaut Russian River Pinot Noir. This is 2018 and it's pretty badass, not gonna lie. <laughs> 